Good morning, ladies. How's everybody? Uh, Andy and I are doing really well. Here's Andy over here. Andy, come here, baby. Come here, pudding. You gotta say hi to everybody. This is, here's Andy. She's gonna go in the morning to get a summer haircut so she won't, <laughs> she'll look like a poodle instead of a little fluff bomb. Oh, anyway. Um, I wanted to let y'all know something I'm, I just signed up this morning for. It's, I, I'm very excited. It's called the 4040 Challenge, and it's 40 spelled F-O-R-T-Y. Um, I, I found about, out about it on Facebook, and I wanted to share in case anybody else w was interested. It's a 40, 40 day walk or run. You, uh, it starts June 3rd and ends July 12th. And in that 40 days, this group of people, and evidently all 50 states, they we, there's people that do this. This will be their third year, I believe the third year. Um, but in that 40 days, we'll be studying the, the book of John. And so you walk a mile or you run a mile um, one mile a day. And during that mile, you're supposed to, it's supposed to be your, to, to really meditate on the verse you read that day and to just walk and spend your time with God. It's, it's, a just a challenge to draw you closer. It says throughout your 40 days, uh, you will, run or walk a mile, focusing on your relationship with Christ and growing closer to Him. And I just thought that was really exciting. I I don't run. I will be walking. I, I always say if uh, to my family and friends, if you ever see me running, you probably want to run too because there is something after us. I don't run. I don't. I used to play basketball in high school and loved it. It's what got me through school, actually. Just knowing I had to pass because if I didn't, I wouldn't get to play basketball. And that I would run on the basketball court and that is it. I still don't like to run. I think I'm allergic to running, but I will walk. I love to walk. So I'm excited about doing this. And like I said, you, you, uh, once you get on the, you Google 4040 challenge, make sure it's the right one. I'm going to show you what your t-shirt kind of will look like. I know some of you have probably seen this on Facebook, um, but that's what you're, the image you're wanting to look for. That's what the t-shirts will look like because right now, if you sign up, you get a discount um, and it it's normally $52 and I think you will get it for $46 maybe right now. Anyway, it's not much and you get a t-shirt and and you get the booklet that will give you the verse of the day. And also, each day, you will get a challenge. They will give you a challenge. You know, because if when you do devotionals, a lot of times, me, I, I, I will do a, a devotional. And I'll read my devotion for the day and then get busy and really not think about it again. But So there's a challenge attached to each day's verse that obviously you can choose to do or not. I don't know what the challenges will be. I'm assuming it'll be, you know, go do something nice for someone, take food to the food bank. I mean, that's what I'm envisioning, but I don't know because I've never done this. But um, so anyway, and then once you sign up and pay, you have your order number, then you can go on Facebook and they have a private group for the ones that are definitely signed up to do the challenge. So you will have support throughout the way and you you can get on there and see how somebody else, because I love to do Bible studies with other people because you can read something and then talk to the other person about the same, they read the same thing, but you can just get their take on it. And, and I just think that's a great way to learn. So anyway, Guys, I think that's very, really exciting. And then something else I have to share with you guys is I'm actually already reading in John right now. I'm reading John 4.4. 4. And if for the ones who are not familiar with it, it's where it's Jesus and the Samaritan woman, the woman at the well. 
and there's a song out. I don't, I can't remember who sings it, but it's the most beautiful song and it is called Woman at the Well. And I don't know about you ladies, um, if you've ever felt like you were the woman at the well, but I know I used to live, I feel like I think I lived at the well. I was the woman at the well. And the beautiful thing about this story is God will meet you wherever you're at. And it's and I've never noticed this until recently. Uh, in John 4, I'm just going to read one, one part of it. And just in case y'all are wondering, my favorite Bible is the, the Jesus-centered Bible, the NLT version. Um, and I have put washi tape on my... So if y'all are interested in that, I'll show you how I did that. It's really not a, not a hard, but... So John 4, 4, it says, He had to go through Samaria on the way. Let me read the one before, too. So, he left Judea and returned to Galilee. He had to go through Samaria on the way. Now, that seems like just a normal verse. But do y'all realize God, Jesus didn't have to go through Samaria. Jesus doesn't have to do anything. When he says he had to go through Samaria, it never dawned on me that the reason he had to go through Samaria was because he knew that this Samaritan woman needed him. And she was um, an outcast of her town. She was married five times. She was divorced, obviously. And she was living with a man who wasn't her husband. And so she was looked down upon um, she had great shame and, uh, she was just desperate for something. And so Jesus knew this and that's why he had to go through Samaria. You know, the Jews and the Samaritans, the Jews always went out of their way to not go through Samaria. And so for Jesus to say, I have to go through Samaria was a big deal at the time. And, but ha have you guys ever felt like the woman at the well? <sighs> I'm so thankful that, that God meets us wherever we are because it doesn't matter what sin you're in. It doesn't matter what, what is going on in your life right now, whether it's alcoholic, drugs, um, addicting to, addicted to gambling, whether you're in a an affair right now or whatever it is, you don't have to get cleaned up before you go to Jesus. You just come to him as you are and he will meet you wherever you're at right now. And he will be the one to get you out of whatever you're in right now. And he will get he will be the one to clean you up and make you who he wants you to be and save you from where you're at right now, wherever that is. And it's, I've just never real, I've never looked at that verse that way. So John 4, 4, just really, you could make a whole message out of that one verse. And it's, um, God's word is a beautiful thing. And sorry, I didn't really even mean to get worked up like this, but <laughs> Jesus is so good. And then one more thing I want to, I want to point out here, um, I want to share with y'all this book. The it's called the Bible Recap, and the 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 idea of this book is to for you to read the Bible in chronological order because you know you can even buy a Bible in chronological order. I didn't even know that, but so. Day one, it's it's set up in days. So day one, um, you go in your Bible and you read whatever whatever it tells you. So day one is Genesis 1 through 3. So you go and you read that in your Bible and you kind of get an idea of what it means to you. And then you go back to this book and it's just two pages most of the time. It's this page and this page. And it 
this will kind of give you a breakdown. Take the the nuggets, the 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 big nuggets from what you just read in the Bible and kind of explain it to you better. And then there's always, it's called a today's God shot and it's just kind of summing everything up. And then you go to day two and it'll give you more. But then like, let's say you go, uh, hang on. So you have three days in Genesis and then on day four, you go to Job and you read what it's telling you uh, to read in Job. And then you go back and Job is a long, a long book. Job had a long life, but <laughs> it's, and anyway, this book is really good because you can, and then day 11 is more Job. It just goes, it takes you through the Bible in order of what it, um, chronological order, you know, and then the New Testament is the same. Um, and then, you know, it talks a little bit in here about the 400 year silence before the Old and the New Testament. Um, it's just a, I just really have enjoyed this book. Um, you can either use it to read the Bible through in, in order or like I do, um, whatever I'm reading, I will then go to this book and see what it says to kind of give me a better idea, you know, to kind of bring new things to the table that I, the, you know, in a way that I wasn't thinking. So anyway, uh, the, the author of this book is Tara Lee Cobble and it's called the Bible recap. And, and I got mine on Amazon. If, if you're interested, it's just a good tool to have if you are trying to study the Bible. And I think that's all I have. Um, I do want to talk some more later about the, the woman at the well, the, the Samaritan woman. But for right now, I mainly just wanted to let y'all know about this challenge. And I hope that some of you watching and listening will go and check it out. And maybe it's something that you and your husband want to do together or your you and your kids, you know, just whatever. But I'm excited about starting and um, I should be getting my t-shirt and all the stuff within, within the week, I would think. So I'll let y'all know when I get all that. And um, I hope that everybody's doing great, having a great week. And I, I'm just really excited about what God's doing in my life right now. I, I really am. Um, sorry, I keep getting hair right in my face. So I hope you'll all think about maybe subscribing and thank you for the supporters that I have out there. And I will, I will talk to y'all very soon. And I just hope that you all go out and be kind because you never know who's hurting and, um, you know, we all have things going on and the best thing we can do for each other is just be kind to each other. So I hope y'all have a great day. Bye-bye.